South Korea, population of 51 million people, has accomplished on introducing the culture to the world and through K-pop, K-beauty, K-food, our culture has influenced many lives in the world and taught people how to enjoy lives in our ways. And this, this is about beer. Something that's globally connected and what we all enjoy in life. No differences in our background. K-beer. This is Beer Tour in Seoul. Hello everyone from the YouTube. This is Beer Tour in Seoul. My name is Jonathan and I will be talking about a Kangseo Mild Ale by Seven Brody. Kangseo Mild Ale is another regional beer from South Korea. If you look at the map in South Korea, there is Han River that goes across the map. And Kangseo means Kang is river, Seo means simply a west. So if you look at the map, you look at the river and the west side of that river is the old Kangseo region. So what's there in Kangseo? Kangseo consists of a lot of uh, tourist attractions such as Hojun's Museum. Hojun is, uh, you know, back in a long time ago before Seoul was even called Seoul, they were actually called Kogurio and Puyo and etc. That's a long back history in South Korea. Hojun was the doctor at the time. Yaksasa. Yaksasa is a temple. Yangcheon Hyangyo, Soangru, Gohangjang, Gungsan deep underground tunnels. So there are a lot of tourist attractions located in Gangsa. You, you'll find a lot of Korean traditional architects. What do you say? The buildings? <laughs> Seven Broy, they started as a small independent company in, in 2003. And uh, by the time 2011 October, they were first mid-class company to receive a general beer brewery license and the first to known to jump in the beer industry in South Korea along with the big companies like Height, Cloud OB, and etc. So what makes this beer so special is that if you know the Blue House, Blue House is like a White House in the US. Kangseo Mild Ale is served during the international dinner when the officials of each country are gathered at the house. Being anointed to be served at the Blue House gives that kind of luxuriousness and reassuring quality. So if you look at the level, it's all blue. You see a little picture right here. There's a plane. That's because at Kangsa region, there is Gimpo International Airport. Take you anywhere in South Korea. It's all airport here. So let's get into the beer. This beer has an alcohol of 4.6%. And let's open it up for the smell. very first smell that I noticed was the hop and I do indeed smell a tropical scent and for the color now the color is steam uh, I can't slightly see through the glass but not completely, so deeming. Uh, brown color, it reminds me of order a little. I'd say by this color in the beer SRM scale, uh, this color would be somewhere around 24 and 30. Now for the taste. Well, I expect it to be a fruity taste because of fruity sweetness. I honestly expected that I would taste a little bit of that sweetness from the tropical fruits, from you know the smell, but I was wrong. It tastes like smell similar to porter. There's a bitterness. I'd say this IBU is around 24 or 26. It's more. I, I feel slightly heavy on the body and at the end taste I, I feel full of flavors yeah a uh, tropical scent but the taste reminds you of I think that's a good combination of the beer for a craft beer especially 
I'd say overall this is similar to the American Pale Ale style of beer with fruity and floral. I think this is the, one of the nicest craft beers that I had. I, I personally think it's a must in a uh, decent beer lover's fridge. It's, it's quite nice. Yes. It's also light and crispy. If you have watched my previous video on Kumio, I explained about a lot about the food pairings. This beer is a perfect example that goes along with that goes perfectly with the cheesecakes and a lot of other sweet desserts like fruit desserts, finger foods. Because that bitterness must be brought down and balanced with the sweetness of the desserts. So when we're choosing the beer, and I said this in the previous video, you have to know what you want. You bought a beer beer and you have to think of the food that you're gonna have with this beer that will balance and amplify those full rich taste flavors at the same time. And by far, I haven't seen any bad comments on this beer because American Pale Ale style of beer is globally loved by people. I mean, it's globally loved style of beer. So I see no reason why there aren't negative, com negative comments on this over the internet. Uh, it's a lovely beer. And like I said, this is one of the finest craft beer that I had. I also love porters. It's a good beer. Yes. It goes around uh, US dollar um, three dollars. At that price, I think beer, low cost beer, but it's, the flavor is rich, so I think it's worth buying. Three dollars? Damn, that's like that kind of beer, and I feel this. It's such a nice beer to be only cost about $3. That's, that's nonsense. This, this is a beautiful beer. Mm. It's light. And well, overall score that I'll give to this beer, it's going to be one of the highest score that I, I'm going to give. It's going to be 4.85 out of 5. Well, that's because um, Although this reminds you, well, it's similar to American Pale Ale style of beer, but this is grown from South Korea. This was designed by a South Korean company, and it's the one of the finest craft beer that I tasted it in South Korea. And it's the, one of the first beer that I 100% guarantee and recommend to all the people who are watching this video. And to anybody, to my friends, family, I would recommend to taste this beer. I, I believe that they're gonna enjoy it as well. It really sucks to be quarantined at this uh, situation with pandemic. You have beer in your hands and all sorts of media entertainments. That's a perfect room, I think. It's, uh, it's a relaxing time you would find, especially when you have that can of beer in your hand, especially a lovely beer like this. Well, this was Gangsa, Gangsa Mild Ale. Well, this was Gangsa Mild Ale by Sam Broy. And this is a perfect beer to enjoy with sweet desserts. And I recommend you to try it at your home. If you have a beer stores uh, available, go right ahead and purchase this. Try it. I guarantee that you will like it. Well, thank you for watching my video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And your support will definitely help me to make more videos of these interesting beers from South Korea. Well, thank you, everyone. And have a wonderful rest of your day or night or, or <laughs> morning. Well, anyways, thank you. Bye. So let me see if I have a cheesecake. Oh yes, there's cheesecake. Well, I'm gonna have this with this beer all night and get fat. Bye.